Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I wanted to give you a little bit of an update regarding the plants in this uh, discus tank and specifically um, the carpeting plants. So in this case we are talking about dwarf hairgrass. And uh, I'm not sure if you remember but basically my goal initially was to create a tank that is basically very similar to the one from the YouTube channel The King of Do It Yourself. And uh, in the beginning, it worked pretty well, uh, even with the fish in the tank, everything looked pretty good. But then I kind of knew that I was going to start having issues, um, mainly because these discus fish are really, really messy eaters. And uh, a lot of the food basically just gets stuck deep into the grass that the fish can get to. And uh, what I noticed is with these fish, if you don't feed them properly, you will start finding dead uh, neon fish, dead uh, other things as catfish because the fish will start to nip on them because they are cichlids. So I basically had to feed more than what I originally wanted simply because a lot of food gets just stuck in the grass uh, just to keep these guys fed. But then of course I'm going to be having an excess of nutrients in the water that I just at, some, at this point just can't filter out. So. Uh, what happened then was I started to have algae outbreaks and uh, you can see here we have really brown algae everywhere and uh, obviously I tried you know the first thing which was reducing the lights and uh, you know uh, try to feed different types of food that may float um, but these are very picky eaters so I basically had to stick to the beef heart and uh, yeah so I do have some, uh, you know, cleanup crew in here. I have some uh, dwarf Mexican crayfish. I have um, a big loach in the back here. I have some um, Corridoras. And uh, eventually uh, they just couldn't keep up. So uh, what you can see here is just how it looks. So when I clean it with the gravel vac, you know, a lot of, another problem is that these, this grass really really easily gets uprooted so you can see here that you know it doesn't really go deep into the substrate so which is another problem uh, that prevents people from properly you know sucking this grass up uh, all the dirt in it so i end up uprooting these plants so uh, and then you know once they're uprooted they basically take a long time to ever get back into the the gravel so uh, yeah, I have some fluvostratum and some um, EcoComplete, the little, uh, you know, coarse material. And uh, my initial hope was that these plants will easily penetrate the fluvostratum and then basically reach the uh, EcoComplete and then basically hold on to it really strongly. But unfortunately, this doesn't or didn't happen. I see some roots further down, but yeah, I was able to easily uproot these plants whenever I do my gravel bag and... Uh, given the fact that it's such a trap for, uh, you know, fish uh, leftover food, um, basically had to make the decision to change something. So uh, what you see here is a Anubias Nana Petite. And uh, initially I thought about creating a carpet using this plant. But uh, when I looked at the plants carefully, I wasn't sure if the roots will actually go for, for a far enough down. So I may end up having the same problem that I have with the dwarf hairgrass. So what I decided to do is basically go to the next size up, which is the plant in the back there, which is the Anubias Nana. So this plant uh, is bigger, so I need fewer of them. And uh, I'm going to be planting them, you know, section by section. So I removed all the grass here and we'll just focus on this and see how it looks. And then if it's fine, I will gradually probably be removing this grass along with all the nutrients that are stuck in there and uh, all the algae with it. So that will be a big uh, change for the tank. I have to do it gradually because the plants, they do produce oxygen. So if I was to just take everything out in one day, I would have a huge uh, issue with uh, not enough oxygen in the tank all of a sudden. So with the tank, you always have to keep things balanced. If you change something, the tank needs uh, time to rebalance a little bit. So I'm going to do it in sections and uh, maybe every two weeks do a section 
try that and hopefully this will uh, lead to a much better looking tank and then yeah so I will do that um, I will uh, attach the Anubias um, to something called lava pebbles which is basically lava rock that you usually use for uh, biological filtration but this one is in the shape of you know round river rock so it's rounded which uh, you know prevents injuries for the corridors with their you know sensitive mouth and uh, basically I will glue an Anubias on the lava pebble and basically stick the lava pebble to the, into the substrate and let the rhizome of the plant be exposed because the rhizome should never be in the gravel because then the plant will foul and eventually die. So I will um, show you when I get the, uh, the pebbles in the mail and then the plants are also on the way and uh, then we will get started on this process. Okay, so I just got back from the uh, low store and this right here is the lava pebble rock. So it's basically like lava rock, but it is rounded, which is uh, better for my Corridora um, store buys uh, because they won't, you know, hurt their barbels. And uh, yeah, so this is this, uh, I think, half inch to one inch size. So this is perfect for the Anubias, which also came today. Uh, so these are Anubias Nana, not the Petite, but the Nana. So every single one of these will be glued to a stone. And then they will be uh, buried into the sand, but only the stone. So the rhizome uh, remains exposed. And I will do this for at least this section here. And if I have enough, I will maybe remove even more of this dirty uh, <laughs> dwarf hair grass and um, gradually, you know, work my way towards the left side of the tank. Okay, and uh, I will give you an update when all this is glued and uh, it's in the tank. For those of you who want to know how to actually attach plants, um, so this is the uh, lava pebble rock I talked earlier about. And uh, here we have an example of a Anubias uh, rhizome. And if you want to know what rocks they are exactly, I bought them at Home Depot, actually Lowe's, and they were $33 for this 12 pound bucket. And then for the glue, uh, this is basically the glue um, that I'm using, which works really, really well. Remove pretty much all of the dwarf hair grass and you can see, you know, how filthy this water is now. So it's clear as day that this grass was basically hoarding a lot of dirt and uh, that was likely the reason of course why I had so many uh, nutrients in my water and which basically led to a spike in uh, nitrates and then consequently the algae growth. Just in case you wanted to know how I'm doing it, so basically I'm grabbing one and here you can see I'm almost done with it but basically you go up here and you just drop it in and hope you don't hit any fish so that's so and then I basically just use a stick and burrow it into the sand a little bit okay so I'm finally done with replacing all the dwarf air grass with the Anubias and it looks pretty good I believe um, just has a little different you know effect compared to the uh, you know, underwater lawn, which also looks really good, but this is so much easier uh, to maintain. Uh, the leaves are a lot bigger, you know, animals can still go underneath. Uh, granted, some of the food may still get trapped, but it's easier to clean uh, because it's not so dense as grass. So yeah, one issue I have to deal with though is that uh, since these plants are all freshly planted, uh, they haven't really yet, you know, established themselves and, uh, you know, producing oxygen in the rate as the dwarf hairgrass. So the oxygen levels in this tank actually dropped a little bit. And uh, since I am injecting CO2, uh, what that means is if I have fewer um, oxygen in the water compared to CO2, the uh, pH uh, level is going to drop. So the more CO2 in the water, the lower the pH. So I'm going to just leave the uh, C2 injection setting as is and uh, just wait until things balance itself out again and uh, but that's just something you need to keep in mind if you ever do something drastic 
where you remove you know a bunch of plants uh, you know keep in mind that this will have an effect on your oxygen saturation in the water which then also means lower pH okay other than that everything worked pretty well now it's just time to wait for like you know a month for the carpet to really start growing Anubias grows a lot slower than uh, dwarf hair grass but uh, since it has much bigger, bigger leaves, it actually covers uh, the ground you know, in similar fashion and not as long as you may think. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. Fish are doing pretty well, I believe. Colors are really nice on these. Yeah, I think everything is going to work out really well. So if you have any other issues, I will let you know and post an update, but I think from now on, uh, my maintenance is going to be a lot less, uh, algae growth is going to be a lot less because there are fewer nutrients trapped in, you know, in the gravel and uh, yeah, hopefully everything will go well. Okay, thank you guys.